Well, for more on this topic, we're joined by Doreen Wang, Global Head of Brand Z at brand consulting firm Kanta Millwood Brown. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So in your study, what sort of changes have you seen in the mentality of Chinese consumers and the brands that they enjoy? The Chinese consumers' overall preference toward Chinese brands is increasing significantly over the past five years ago. Five years ago, when we did this brand Z survey with 300,000 consumers, and the majority of them think the international brands in China were superior. But nowadays, that percentage have completely changed, the situation completely changed. And the most of the consumers, over 90 percent, think the Chinese local brands are able to deliver similar quality and a lot of innovative products. For example, like DJI is the number one drone brand worldwide and the leading 70 percent of the drone market. It is because of its trustworthy quality, but also world-leading innovation. So then, Doreen, how is this impacting the strategies that Chinese brands and manufacturers are using? The Chinese brands manufacturers, and right now, and a lot of them are uh, are doing a lot of great initiatives, a lot of innovations, and we we have to we, we can see that the Chinese consumers pick up Chinese brands not just out of patriotism, not just because this is local brands I'm familiar with it, but also because the brand can provide the cons the consumers needs, can provide great product and a great experience, like Huawei's um, Mate 10 and uh, and the P20 smartphone. The technology is nothing shy from um, Apple or, or Samsung. But in the meantime, we also see that like WeChat, the social media platform, is a great combination of Facebook and the Twitter, and the user experience is amazing. So the manufacturers need to de deliver a lot of great and innovative product, and so that can attract the consumers and build a really consumer loyalty base. Now, you mentioned some of the initiatives that they're using. How much of that is partnerships versus really trying to innovate in the tech space? Um, we, we think that uh, mobilization and artificial intelligence, blockchain, have provided huge opportunities for Chinese brands to excel, because this is the, 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 the wave, and Chinese brands, a lot of them definitely need to, to catch. And in the meantime, the Chinese government have a lot of great initiatives to nurture the entrepreneurship and to encourage the entrepreneurship culture. And this way, we are seeing a lot of small and medium-sized business and starting to thrive. And, uh, and, um, and the challenge the status quo and therefore uh, build a very successful business in and, and beyond China. And from our survey uh, with uh, consumers in seven overseas countries, including the United States, UK, and 400,000 consumers, a lot of them think the Chinese brands um, are cool and innovative. You wouldn't be able to see um, over 50 percent of the young consumers in the overseas market think Chinese brands are cool so, five years ago. The majority so of them think Chinese brands were just low quality and, and cheap, but that, that image is, is changing. And Doreen, what's causing that perception to change about what they, how they view Chinese products? Yeah, the, the change is mainly driven by a few leading brands. For example, uh, you have seen our ranking Lenovo and, uh, and, uh, and Tencent, uh, Alibaba, and these brands are definitely driving this change. But in the meantime, we are, we are also seeing that the Chinese governments uh, like China Dream, Belt and Road Initiative, as well as uh, the China Branding Day, which was yesterday, and help uplift the overall image of Chinese brands, which help to build um, to build the the brand China. So Chinese brands further development and in the meantime will benefit the overall brand China. So Doreen, what about some of these older traditional Chinese brands that risk losing consumers because they're not modernizing? What can they do to really get themselves up to date without losing what made them so special in the first place? That's going to be very challenging. And uh, for the old and traditional brands, and they have to keep up with the speed. Because we have to admit that China is probably the most competitive and the most uh, innovative market in the world. And the brands have to innovate really hard to be able to survive, to win the hearts and wallets of the consumers. And so no matter you are traditional or you are digital brands, you have to challenge yourself and to keep innovating, to bring the new flavor and new taste and new color, new fashion to your consumers and to meeting their, um, their fast-growing needs. Otherwise, you'll be lagged behind. All right. Thank you so much. Doreen Wang from Kanta Millwood Brown.